All right, it's time now to check out the top hyper local stories making headlines in North Texas. A man from Wiley is waiting to be sentenced after a jury found him guilty on all charges for his role in the January 6th attack. Prosecutors say a guy Refit brought a gun to the Capitol, interfered with police, and later threatened to shoot his kids if they turned him in. Refit is the first defendant on trial for the Capitol riots. The House has unanimously passed a resolution from Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne condemning the terrorist attack on the Colleyville Synagogue. She says it combats anti-Semitism and violence against Jewish Americans. And the Dallas St. Patrick's Day Parade is making its grand return Saturday. Mayor Eric Johnson presented with this year's Grand Marshal. You see him right there, Dallas Mavs legend Dirk Nowitzki. We do hope you will stick around. We've got more North Texas headlines coming up. But first, when Russia invaded the home country of a San Antonio bakery owner, she and her co-owner got busy. Brian Bowes shows us how a simple gesture in the Texas spirit turned into a major development. Here at Like a Cheesecake and Espresso in San Antonio, it's really not uncommon to see people lined up out the door just for the cheesecake. But recently, with the war ravaging in Ukraine, the whole reason for coming here has changed. There's only one person that really knows how to make a Leica cheesecake. This is the, the storage for the recipes here. They're stored up there? Yes. Can I get a shot of those recipes? No, no, no. That's a... Uh, They're secret recipes. secret recipe. Oh, I'm going to do the crust, okay? Yeah. And while she keeps up appearances for me and my camera... Yes, I'm putting on the gloves. It's all real. Anna Afanasievia's thoughts are back in Ukraine. I will survive. I am not being bombed, you know? So and, uh, until I can, I, I, will, I will do whatever I can. Whatever they can turned into everything they made, starting with all of Leica's profits during the first weekend after the Russian-Ukraine conflict started. I thought be some people, but not this many. <laughs> well, that many lined up around the block as Anna and business partner Victor Krizma Wash them by 5,000 pieces of cheesecake and make donations that brought in over $70,000. But it hasn't stopped as crowds have made Leica a de facto Ukrainian donation site. We've been selling out at 2 p.m. and we're normally open until 9. So that's, how, that's the new normal here now, I guess. This conflict, this invasion, this tragedy is a heartbreaking life-changing event. My family is there, my friends are there. Like every day I, I watch this absolutely horrifying freaking videos, how people are being killed, how the buildings are being bombed. It's really hard to comprehend it. And while the TV crews and newspapers have shown up to cover what they're doing, Anna brushes it off, choosing instead to focus on those that need the help. I don't think of myself as a hero. The heroes are there. They're working work the front lines and they're being killed every day, you know? So this is nothing. All right, meteorologist Mary Watson back with us in studio now. We're still on this weather roller coaster, yes. Mary, but we're going up. It's a bit warmer today. We are. We're going up. Temperatures closer to normal with highs in the 60s, even 70s across South Texas. Good news is warmer tomorrow. Good. And then we crash on Friday. Oh, no. <laughs> we head back down the hill. Then we head right down the hill. That's right. Weather-wise. Okay. Weather-wise, okay. yeah. So big changes on Friday. But let's go and show you today. Look at this. Dallas, 60 degrees. Austin, 64. Now, we did have freezing temperatures across parts of North Texas this morning. But that's